My name is Lizzie, and today I'm so excited to do a cat-tastic experiment inspired by Gabby's dollhouse. For today's experiment, all you'll need is salt, water, cups, raw eggs, food coloring, and spoons. In the Easter Kitty Bunny episode, Gabby and Pandy have an egg that's about to hatch, but then it gets mixed up with some other eggs. Murkat uses a special sink float potion to figure out which potion is theirs. Ooh. This potion makes the eggs that aren't theirs float to the top. I don't have Murkat's sink float potion, but I do know how we can make some. Spot science. For this experiment, I'm gonna see what happens when I put eggs in different types of water. To make this experiment more fun, I'm gonna add food coloring to the waters. Let's make this one blue and this one pink. So I'm gonna take my pink and my blue. I'm gonna do about 15 drops. They're so, it's so pretty. So now I'm gonna do my pink. I want this to be a bit of a lightish pink. That's really pretty. To make my sink float potion, I'm gonna add a bunch of salt to the pink one. Once I've added the salt, we're gonna put eggs in both of these and see what happens. So now I am taking the salt and I'm gonna add a bunch in. I think I'm gonna use a spoon for this so it's not too messy <laughs> and it's already being messy. <laughs> you need a lot of salt to make this work. Once you've added the salt, give it a good stir. Wait until you see the salt settle at the bottom of the glass. Let's see what happens when you add the eggs to the different waters. That idea gets a fishtail five. I'm gonna do the blue first. And it fell down. It looks really big, like it grew two sizes. So now I'm gonna do the pink. Let's see if it floats. Oh, it's floating. So the pink one did float a little bit, but let's see what happens when you add even more salt. Let's put in the salt. Let's put in the salt. <laughs> now I'm gonna mix it up. So now I'm gonna take my egg and drop it in. It's at the top, it floats. So this must mean that the plain water is less dense than the salt water. Now I'm gonna see what happens when I put the tap water in the salt water using this turkey baster. Let's get started. <laughs> Bubble. Now you need to release this gently. Now the top is turning blue. That's crazy. It's pouring in. Look at all that, that's just like blue. <gasps> Shimmering sea scales. I wonder if I can make a rainbow by layering waters with different levels of salt in them. Let's try it. Now I'm gonna add the different amounts of salt first and then I'll add the colors. Scoop. Time to make the rainbow. Since the pink is the densest, I am going to add that first. Now let's see if the yellow works. Good luck. Cakey's rooting for ya. Hmm. So the yellow didn't work out well, but let's try our green. I hope this works. Is it working? Maybe it's gradual? Let's try the blue. I can't believe that didn't work. My spa science never fails. Well, that didn't really go as planned. But that's what experiments are all about. Trying new things. You can't really tell the difference when using different levels of salt water. But when using a lot of salt and no salt, you can really tell a difference. For more fun spa science, watch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix.